Hi, my name is Annie. I am a boat captain, scuba diving instructor, and an underwater photographer and filmmaker. I love diving underwater. I get to see so many amazing ocean creatures, and taking pictures and videos of them allows me to share my adventures with you. Does that sound like fun? Do you wanna go underwater with me? First, I have to get ready. To visit the underwater world, I need some special equipment. I need my scuba gear. Scuba stands for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. That's a fancy way of saying, I carry a tank filled with air when I dive. I breathe air from the tank through this mouthpiece. It's called a regulator. I wear this vest to help me carry my tank of air. It also helps me become weightless underwater because I don't want to float on top or sink to the bottom. Sometimes I wear a wetsuit to keep warm because the ocean can get pretty chilly. It's hard to move around on land with all this gear on, but it's much easier to move in the water. I wear fins on my feet to help me swim. I can swim forward, backwards. I can swim up and down. I can even do the froggy kick. And when I'm diving, I only use my legs to swim. That leaves my hands free to hold the cameras. In order for us to see underwater, we need to wear masks that cover our eyes and nose. Have you ever tried to open your eyes underwater? Maybe in a swimming pool or the bathtub? If you have, you know that everything is blurry. You can see shapes and shadows, but nothing clearly. That's because people need a pocket of air in front of their eyes to help them see clearly. Masks keep a steady stream of air in front of a diver's eyes because our noses are enclosed. Well, now that you know how I see underwater, what about my cameras? How do they work underwater? Well, I need special gear for my cameras too. I have special cases that are made to keep my cameras dry. My cameras also have special lenses because the ocean is home to creatures of different shapes and sizes. If I'm taking a picture of something big, like a coral reef or a whale shark, I'll use a wide angle lens. And if it's something small, I use a macro lens. That lets me capture images of animals the size of your fingernail. Part of what makes the ocean so amazing is that these creatures are all connected. Did you know the largest fish in the ocean, the whale shark, feeds on the tiniest animals of the sea, called plankton? Underwater, there's less of sun's light than there is on land. so. I carry lights with me. The deeper I dive, the less sunlight there is. So carrying lights helps me see the true colors of everything underwater. My lights are necessary when I dive at night. Are you wondering why I dive at night? That's because, just like on land, some very different ocean animals come out at night. Of course, I'm always careful because diving can be dangerous. But I love diving because I get to see some incredible animals. And I'm never afraid of any of them, not even sharks. In fact, I dive with sharks all the time, though they are just one of the many animals I like to film. Sharks are endangered and we must protect them, as well as all of the creatures of the ocean. By sharing my underwater experiences with you, I hope that you will come to care for the ocean and its creatures and help protect them too. Remember, everything we do on land affects the sea. Well, my equipment is all set. 
we're ready to take a look at some of the wonderful creatures that live below the ocean's surface now. So, use your imagination and get set to dive in with me. Okay, on the count of three, we are going to take one giant step and enter a magical world. One, two, three!